so here's where it gets really cool. So I know that, um, or it's likely that you want to have your own custom theme. You want your application to be branded to your company and say uh, all your applications need to be green. So previously what you likely did is you went through and when you created your application you looked for a theme there was like one green theme that you could pick and that was it and then you know you tried to customize that. Well I know currently looking at the universal theme here it looks it's blue well it doesn't have to be and so one thing that we're going to look at here is known as the theme roller. So this thing is really awesome. Like major props to the uh, Apex team for getting this thing set up. Uh, this is way cool. So what does it do for us? How is it helpful? Well, you can see currently uh, I'm using the style of blue, and I need to point out now that uh, themes now have styles. So in other words, you can have the same theme, but you can have a blue or a red or a green style or you can just go ahead and make your own. How do we make, how do we do this? Well, quite simply, uh, here you have different options that you can pick. So I'm just going to go to global colors and I'm just going to pick the header accent. And here I can just start picking colors and you can notice my application instantly changes. So I go a little bit darker. Ooh, I kind of like this one. Um, and if we want to, uh, we can change more than just uh, this header accent. We can go into containers. And uh, in this case, it has some containers have something called a border radius, um, which we can we can tweak with a little bit. Uh, if those of you might be wondering what this is what this is affecting, it's actually this little rounded corner here. So if you want more of a larger rounded corner you can do that. I actually I like the two pixel rounded corner myself. Right? But I'm going to leave all this other stuff the same. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click Save As and here it's called you know the style name is going to be called Blue Copy. Um, I'm just going to call this uh, we'll call it Deep Blue save. All right, so this style has been saved, but if when I click cancel, notice that my theme goes back. Well, how do I make that theme current? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to my application. And I'm going to navigate to my shared components. And here, I'm going to navigate to my theme. Here you can see I have my universal theme 42. And if I scroll down to the very bottom of this theme, way, way, way down at the bottom, you can see here are the different styles. Notice that we have blue, deep blue, gray, steel blue, and well, quite simply, all we have to do is go find the deep blue that we created edit that or just click on that link and then there's a little option show all there's a little option here uh, where it is current yes so now my application is going to show up in, in my deep blue theme but there's one thing here that I want to point out that I that makes this even cooler so um, the theme roller uses something uh, which is known as less uh, L-E-S-S. -S. You can see it here. Uh, it's, it's including a file called standard.less, uh, which is essentially a preprocessor for uh, CSS. And it lets you use things in your CSS um, like variables, right? So here we have a variable with a value. And here we have uh, the border radius variable with a value. So what I, I could do is I could actually come in here and start entering uh, uh, 
JavaScript object notation to kind of style my theme uh, strictly or simply with text. Um, but uh, be careful if you come in here and try to modify this stuff directly. Uh, this is, uh, for instance, you might notice that these changes here are the uh, the header accent color and the border radius are the things that I modified using the theme roller. So there's a note here which is kind of hard to see, but I can zoom in. It says, you know, saving a theme style in the theme roller will generate the JSON configuration. So you don't actually need to enter this. The theme roller will enter it for you.